Agent Zero now has a hacking edition, but please let me remind you that it is you who is responsible for your agent, not me, not your AI provider. You can get into serious trouble, so always use Agent Zero and the hacking tools in a legal manner. So in this hacking edition, Agent Zero is mostly the same as you know it. I just added this little red accent to the UI to differentiate it from the standard version. For now, it uses exactly the same prompts and instruments as the standard version. The difference is that it is now not based on Debian Linux, but on Kali Linux instead. So it now has access to the repository of a lot of pen testing tools. In the future, I want to expand on the prompts and instruments so I can guide the agent better towards its new role as a pen testing assistant. But for now, for the first release, they will stay the same. It is not a replacement for the standard edition. They will now both be maintained and kept up to date and everything is 100% compatible, including the web browser tool and all the other tools inside the framework. Because I'm not a pen tester myself and I don't know how to use Kali Linux properly, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. I created a password protected archive and I'm going to tell the agent, go in Kali, use John to move force into this Miracle. For now, I will give a little helping hand to the agent. I'm going to tell it it's in Kali Linux and to use the John the Ripper and the Raku password list because right now it's still built on those old prompts. This is like an alpha version. So I'm going to save some time and tell it in more detail what to do. It should download the Raku TXT password list, which is a list of about 14 million most commonly used passwords. And it should then brute force its way into the archive. Okay, it seems it's downloading word lists, which should contain Raku. In my previous tests, sometimes it decided to download just the Raku TXT from GitHub, but this is probably a better way to do it. Okay, it should now extract the archive to get the text file. And now it's doing the brute force thing. And here in the terminal, we have the password, which is SpongeBob. Now, this is exactly why you never want to use a password like this anywhere, because brute forcing this takes just a few seconds. So here we go. I can now tell the agent extract it now because I think right now it just brute forced the password, but it didn't actually extract the contents. So now we have them in root extracted files. In some of my previous tests, the agent decided to write its own code in Python. It worked, but it was way less efficient because John the Ripper uses multi-threading, whereas Python runs on a single thread. So. This is a better example, and because Agent Zero learns from its past solutions and from its memories, I could show you this nice and clean example. If you want to try the hacking edition out, you can use Docker Desktop, just like with regular edition of Agent Zero. The image is already on Docker Hub. It's Agent Zero with the tag hacking. Just keep in mind that this is like an alpha release. I just finished building the Docker image. I did not do any additional adjustments to the prompts. So the agent now doesn't really know that he's supposed to be a pen tester. I will improve these a lot in the near future. For more information, you can see agent-0.ai or the GitHub repository of Agent0. The project is completely free and open source, both the main branch and this hacking edition. So feel free to do whatever you want with it. Just remember what I said in the beginning, your agent is your responsibility. So be careful, stay out of trouble. And with that being said, have fun and stay tuned for more updates.